All right, so I just parked the trailer at the house. I'm quite impressed with the Jeep's uh, ability to work in the winter. When I showed you my half-ton pickup truck, I couldn't back into that driveway in the winter. And uh, that truck was parked uh, every winter anyway. Because it, it had posse in the back and it would just go sideways as soon as uh, the axles locked, you couldn't turn. So uh, going uphill here, and it's only about nine or ten feet wide in the driveway, as you get hung up in the snowbank. I was able to push through a little bit of snow here with the trailer. And squeeze in here along the camper. It's about the only video you're going to see of the camper this winter, unfortunately. I had the four ways on. I was able to back in and get straightened up. And uh, pretty close to the snow here. So I'm able to drive forward up against the snowbank and back in without any wheel spin. I got some good tires on here. I've been pretty happy with them. They're Hercules Avalanche RC2. I think these are uh, a copy of a Hakapolita. In fact, they might actually be the same mold as a Hakapolita. They're made in Russia now. But I will tell you that they're starting to crack and they're only this will be the third season for them, and we're not down to the wear bars yet. But at that depth, I got like another sixteenth of an inch. I'm starting to feel that these tires are done, so I'll probably run these for the summer and toss them and get some other tires. But if you want traction and cheap, and you're gonna run your tires half worn out and get rid of them, I think these Avalanche are C2 from Hercules are a great tire. I just can't believe what I've been able to do with these things. Like I got like a 2,000 pound trailer here with 100 pounds of ice on the roof still and uh, no problem parking it in tight quarters with lots of turning. It's got good traction control. So uh, I'd share that with you. Thanks for watching.